Psychological Analysis of Gary Ridgway. Delving into the psyche of Gary Ridgway, also known as the Green River Killer, reveals a complex interplay of factors that may have contributed to his heinous crimes. While Ridgway himself attributed his actions to a hatred of prostitutes, experts and investigators have probed deeper into his motivations. One prominent theory is that Ridgway's troubled childhood played a significant role in shaping his violent tendencies. Reports suggest that he had a difficult relationship with his mother, who was described as domineering. Such dynamics within the family unit can often lead to a range of psychological issues, including feelings of inadequacy, resentment, and a distorted view of power and control. Ridgway's motives for the killings remain unclear. Ridgway's history of bedwetting until his teenage years is another factor that psychologists have examined. Bedwetting beyond early childhood can sometimes be linked to emotional disturbances or trauma. It's possible that Ridgway's struggles with this issue contributed to feelings of shame and a desire for dominance and control over others. Furthermore, the specific demographics of Ridgway's victims shed light on potential psychological motives. Targeting vulnerable women on the margins of society, such as teenage runaways, sex workers and drug users, may have provided Ridgway with a sense of power and superiority. These individuals were less likely to be missed or pursued vigorously by law enforcement, allowing Ridgway to continue his killing spree for an extended period without detection. Ridgway's method of luring victims into his truck, strangling them, and then disposing of their bodies in remote areas also reflects a calculated and methodical approach to his crimes. This level of planning and execution suggests a degree of psychopathy or sociopathy, characterized by a lack of empathy, remorse, and a propensity for manipulating others for personal gain or gratification. The Green River Task Force's investigation and eventual capture of Ridgway highlighted the challenges faced by law enforcement in dealing with serial killers who target marginalized populations. The lack of physical evidence initially stymied progress in the case, emphasizing the need for advancements in forensic technology and investigative techniques. Ridgway's eventual confession to 48 murders and his cooperation in locating additional remains underscored both the gravity of his crimes and the potential for closure and justice for the victim's families. The plea bargain he struck to avoid the death penalty marked the culmination of a lengthy and complex legal process, bringing some measure of resolution to a community haunted by his actions. In the aftermath of Ridgway's conviction, ongoing efforts to identify remaining victims and piece together the full extent of his crimes continue. This ongoing investigation serves as a reminder of the enduring impact of serial killers on both individual lives and society as a whole. It also underscores the importance of psychological profiling, forensic science and collaborative law enforcement strategies in addressing such cases effectively. Legacy and Impact The legacy of Gary Ridgway and the Green River killings extends beyond the grim details of his crimes. His case has become a focal point for discussions on mental health, criminal justice reform, victim advocacy and the societal factors that contribute to violence and victimization. Ridgway's ability to evade capture for so long, despite the mounting death toll, underscores systemic issues within law enforcement and the criminal justice system. Questions have been raised about resource allocation, investigative protocols, and the prioritization of cases involving marginalized individuals. He was finally arrested in 2001 after DNA evidence linked him to several of the murders. In a controversial plea bargain, he was spared the death penalty in exchange for confessing to 48 murders and leading police to still undiscovered remains. Furthermore, Ridgway's case highlights the enduring trauma experienced by communities affected by serial killers. The fear, grief and loss inflicted by his actions reverberate to this day, serving as a somber reminder of the fragility of human life and the need for vigilance in protecting the most vulnerable among us. In response to cases like Ridgway's, advocacy groups, law enforcement agencies and mental health professionals have collaborated to improve prevention, intervention and support services for at-risk populations. 
efforts to address issues such as homelessness, substance abuse, and domestic violence have gained renewed urgency in the wake of such tragedies. Ridgway is currently serving a life sentence at the Washington State Penitentiary. His horrific crimes helped bring more attention to the issue of violence against sex workers.